We're here at NAM on the Aston booth with James Young, who's going to show us his uh, new drinks container. No, actually, it's a microphone, isn't it? I thought it was a thermos flask for a minute. I thought you brought your tea. All that work. All that work. <laughs> you... <laughs> Scoundrel. <laughs> no, actually, this is a very clever thing. It's a dynamic microphone, but it's got active electronics in there to keep the noise down and to give it some various tonal flavorings, I believe. Yes. Although indeed. you can get the tonal flavorings without the active electronics on. You can as well. Yeah. So it, it's got magic in there as well. It's got a lo it's a lots of magic in this thing, yeah. Okay, tell us about it. Okay, so it's, a, it's an N-Fire microphone. It's yep. a large format, format dynamic, as you said. Mm. Um, the beauty starts, um, it's really, really complicated piece of kit. It's the most complicated mic we've made to date, and it's been, it's been a bit of a headache getting it ready, actually. So internally, you've got a Class A mic preamplifier. Yep. Um, if you just plug it in, and there's no phantom power uh, being fed to it, it'll just work as a normal passive mic. And, and you're right, with the four um, different voices on it as well. But if it detects that it's got phantom power, it automatically boots up the, the Class A mic pre and gives you about 40 dB of extra gain, loads of headroom and that, that nice kind of sparkly sheen that you get with a really good um, mic pre. So you don't need to buy a gain lifting device for this microphone. That's, that's the first clever bit. Um, the second bit is, the, is the, the, the different voice settings on it. Okay. So you've got four voicings on this, which work in both passive and active mode. Um, V1 and V2 are for two different vocal modes. Yeah. You've got a guitar mode on there, which works really well for pretty much any style of guitar. And you've also got a D mode, that's dark, it's not drums. <laughs> and it's not dull. <laughs> no. Um, this is like, uh, it emulates a vintage ribbon sound. Okay. So you've got, they, they really are, they're not subtle, they're very different sounds within the microphone. Mm. Um, the third bit of magic in this is another bit you can't see. So you grab hold of that and give it a shake. Like this. Yeah. Oh, you feel yeah. that? Yeah. So this is a mass loaded capsule. The, cap the capsule is actually attached to a 250 gram weight and the entire assembly is suspended without, you know, in midair without touching the sides of the chassis at all mm -hmm. by three little zorbethane hemispheres. You might know zorbethane yes, are indeed. Yeah, very acoustically efficient man-made polymer for damping stuff. So basically you don't need a shock mount with this because it's internally shock mounted really well. So we've been able to do a novel little idea for the stand. Um, you clip this onto the stand, you screw this onto the stand, and then you simply put the mic onto it like that. It's that quick and easy to take your mic on and off the stand. <laughs> there you go. Looks very, very good. And presumably this is as quiet as a good capacitor microphone with the, uh, with the gain boost on in exactly. there. Exactly. With, with the mic pre on, it's about 10 dB signal to noise ratio. So it's you know, right in the middle band of... Mm where you'd expect a good condenser microphone to be. And actually, we, it, we, uh, we developed this in the same way as all the other mics with a panel of top producers and engineers. We actually had the biggest panel that we've ever had. We had 92 top producers and engineers working on this and some artists as well. And we had 14 different microphone sources, two competitors, which I won't name in there, but we had a couple of competitors in there as well. And we had uh, seven different sources of instrument and vocal. And so in all, in all, I think we had nine, just over 9,000 data points to select the voicing patterns on this. Yeah, and many of those were large diaphragm capacitor mics, weren't they? Yeah, we had, some, we had a, a couple of large diaphragm capacitors in there, and the rest of them were dynamic mics, yeah. Oh, but they were. Okay. By the time we got to the end of our test procedure, this was winning everything, hands down, including yeah. against some very expensive mics. Yeah, uh, and what we said before the uh, microphone went on was that if you're working in an environment where condensation might cause a problem with capacitor mics, uh, it's not going to happen with a dynamic mic because you're not working okay. with the same kind of impedances. Yeah, we're talking about this as being the kind of the most versatile mic in the world. So, it really, it's 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 not aimed at a specific market. If you are recording stuff, whether it's podcasting, gaming, pro audio, recording live, stage, studio, anything, this mic is going to be pretty much ideal for for every application because it works as well as a condenser microphone with several different sounds, as well as a dynamic microphone, a good dynamic microphone with several different sounds. And it's, it's everything you could ever need for recording. Yeah, well, certainly Hugh Rob Johns was very taken by it. Yeah. Well, thanks for that, James. When are Thank you shipping? You. We're shipping it right now. It'll start hitting the stores in the UK, I would think, by the beginning of February, for sure. Mm -hmm. It's £299 ink vat. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to break the bank either. And like all of our products, it comes with a three-year free replacement warranty as well. Most excellent. Thanks, James. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>